Now, before we get into our next batch of articles, friendly reminder, this month I'm giving away a Steam Deck. It is a portable gaming PC, very high-end, pretty cool. You can play all your games on there for free and take it on the go if you want it. All you got to do is join the giveaway. There's a link that's... Uh, <laughs> There's a link that's uh, pinned to the top of the Twitch chat. If you're watching that Hokage highlights, the link will be at the top of the description box. Just do me a favor. Please read the instructions thoroughly. It's only one step. It's only one thing you got to do to enter. Please read the instructions carefully. I keep saying that. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm trying to help y'all. I'm really scared for the future of the children because they say the average reading level is 7th to 8th grade. And the fact that some of you have failed following one instruction kind of proves it. It's breaking my heart. So just follow, read the instructions, please. Anyways, uh, link in the description box below. Next batch of articles. Oh, let's talk Marvel, baby. Niggas really messing up one step. They are. I found this in the sub box uh, yesterday night and I saved it for today. Um, we got an update, a dev diary um, for Marvel Rivals, which drops December 6th which is the new team hero team shooter starring Marvel characters. I've learned that Overwatch and Marvel rival fans have like beef. Apparently Overwatch fans think that Hanzo was the first person to ever shoot a bow and arrow. And they say that, um, what's his name? Uh, Hawkeye is a copy of Hanzo, which is crazy because Hawkeye has been around since like the sixties. Like, what are you talking about? Like he also uses a Katana. If, if anything, whatever, <laughs> my birthday, December 6th is a holiday. Greetings, Rivals. I'm Zhu, the lead it. combat designer for Marvel Rivals. Who's the first to take a shower? Responsible shot, for ensuring our heroes, levels, and gamers are on point. First off, big thanks for all your support. We have been working hard preparing for the imminent launch of Marvel Rivals. We are refining contact, squashing bugs, and optimizing performance. If you to want the link sure to the giveaway in the chat, the type giveaway in the chat. Possible. My bot should give you a link. We appreciate all of the amazing support during the closed beta test, and we have gathered a ton of game balancing data and valuable feedback. With these insights, we Will have carefully adjusted the balance, reading in the raw power of heroes like Magneto, and strengthening others like balancing, Loki like and Jeff. New heroes have also undergone egros testing to ensure an exciting and fair experience for everyone at lunch. In response to the many requests for the detailed hero data, we have heard you and are preparing the, to review the Did you say the Fed went after some devs at the studio? Our... Yeah, it was an article that came out last week. It was like, it was nine people at the studio. I seen some people say the game's in trouble. No, 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 no. It wasn't the whole studio, which is like hundreds of people. It was nine people. It was, it was nine people at the studio. Apparently they were like money laundering or something like that. Uh, I forgot the details on it, but the game, the game will be fine. Playable heroes on our official website at lunch, providing a complete dossier for everyone. We are also gearing up to review important characters such shit. as Wing Race and Pick Race, but this will take some time. Uh, rest assured, we will meticulously gather the comeback data after lunch and share these vital statistics at the right time. Stay tuned for our upcoming dev diaries as we embark They're giving on the data this to everybody? This game gonna be sweaty as fuck, bro. Also, there's also gonna be no excuse for fucking sucking because if they're making the data public, which shout out to them. I don't, I don't know if they're the first to do this. I don't play Overwatch anymore, so I don't know. Does Overwatch do this? But if they're making the data public to everybody, there's no excuse to know which characters are the best and which ones are the worst. You just fucking suck, read. Exciting journey together. Since the close beta, our focus has been perfecting the game for lunch, enhancing core operations, fine turning comeback responsiveness, and elevating information delivery. This encompasses everything from our earliest heroes as well as our latest additions. When it comes to character actions, we have carefully fine The fact that data is going to be public, that also means this is a game you probably can't play with randoms. I mean, we already knew it before, but like with people actually being able to crunch the numbers, you're really not going to be able to play with randoms. You got to have a squad, at least a squad of three. And seamless blending of animations for our heroes, especially those larger than live actions. People were being like toxic Magic in the beta? Yeah, I was one of them.
creating a more natural and fluid compact natural. experience. We have also adjusted heat effect and elemental decals to make them more visible over longer distances, intensifying the impact of attacks, such as with Mantis and Could you and see this Hellas is an eSport? I don't care. I'm not going to watch it, so... I'm just playing the game because I think it's fun, but, like, could I see it as an eSport? I don't know. I, I think I think the games that have the best chance to actually be an eSport are the ones that are not trying to be an eSport. The games that are just designed to be fun and the community loves it so much, it uplifts it. Grassroots stuff is what maintains prominence. Like, let's just have fun. Let's just let's let's not worry about the esports. Wish me luck on this date. You don't need luck, bro. You got it. Luck's for pussies. Just chill. Just be cool. Be cool. Be a chill guy. Think about the meme. Be a chill guy. And ask her questions about herself. Additionally. We have reorganized the video effects hierarchy to bring more order to the chaos of battle. Some scales you know haven't been question overlooked. Is, do y'all want it to be an esport? Because I mean, look at Overwatch, right? This is the main game that this game gets compared to. Overwatch was an esport. That shit crumbled. The Overwatch League, ow, dead as fuck. We have boosted ability and impact effects to make them more powerful and refined comeback hey, mixing to highlight important audio cues, such as those alerting players to imminent danger. Better sound cues. Our UI enhancements include clear Why reload codes. Shout out to Jeremy with the sub. Ensuring that yeah. players are ready to unleash their Only powers. We have also power. customized specific UI elements for certain heroes such as providing clear feedback for Mantis about which heroes will benefit from her damage boost and healing. We have put our hearts into crafting an unparalleled hero experience, and we can't wait for you to experience the fun at lunch. Look at what the Spark is here coming in. Map, map quantity, quantity, and new map themes. In the days leading to be fair, up the Overwatch to Overwatch League was huge. It was on ESPN. Yeah, I didn't say it didn't. I didn't say it didn't have some level of success. It did, but it wasn't sustainable. That shit died within like two years. That's what I'm saying. Like, uh, uh, I, I don't know, man. Like, uh, do I don't I don't think the Overwatch League helped anybody. Our maps. The biggest thing to come out of the Overwatch League was XQC. Like that launched his career. But the, other than that, like, eh, I don't know if it, it pushed anything forward in terms of gaming. Refinement. Including classroom smoothing and performance optimization Thank God, for the bro. launch of the Although I don't know how bad with... the optimization was because I, I had my 2880 at the time, but whenever there was explosions on the map, my shit would drop frames. But if it dropped frames with my 4080, I'm gonna be pissed. But they said they optimized it. Season zero. Over the months long season, we will be adding new maps, four, including four new maps four... for quick play competitive new quick match and competitive mode maps one conquest mode map and a new practice mind you season be... zero is from december 6th to january like the end of january they're adding a lot of content improve your skills and let's take a look at some of the new Hello, maps first we have the intergalactic empire of wakanda featuring burning t'challa intergalactic and the of Jalia, the domination and convergence modes respectively each offering a glimpse into a grand yes, and mysterious futuristic nation set in If it was multiple explosions, my shit would lock up. Yeah, same. Town. The special form of destruction on this map has been titled Rest of the Arisha, where destroying specific structures can unleash the rest of Wakanda's gods, each delivering a unique mm, gameplay experience. That's interesting. So the level can affect the gameplay. Next. Shortly after launch day, we will head to Hydra Shattery Space, Hell's Heaven, where a that makes sense with the current political uh, environment in the United States. There's a lot of Hydra agents out here. It's a lot of Hydra. <laughs> into the volcanic heart of Antarctica, a lot of challenge you to shut States. out Hydra's interdimensional power. As the battle unfolds, the hidden base terrain will shift as the Hydra base transforms as they enact their invasion protocol which will completely alter the dynamics of offense and defense. Finally, we will arrive at Kalinka. Why do you think surface. the content rollout with Marvel Rivals seems better than Multiverses with DC? Two different studios. Is that, is that simple? Two different studios. Um, you're comparing apples to oranges. Like it, It's as simple as um, 
because you can't blame funding because multiverses was, was funded by warner bros warner bros got money um marvel rivals is is funded by netease netease got money too so like they both have money it really comes down as it's two different studios that this this team might be more um passionate they might be more um let's see just organized they might be managing their resources and their time better honestly it just seems like it's a better studio with a convergence mode that immerses players in the origins of what? symbiotes, where darkness and chaos reign supreme. Engaging with the symbiotes during combat yeah, better will leadership. transform the battle experience with every interaction. That's pretty we are cool. Calling special We're going to the symbiote planet as a map. That's pretty cool. Living symbiosis as the alien planet will respond to being attacked and reflexively build entirely new structures. Wonder Bros is actually can... bleeding money. Yeah, they are now. Context matters. When when Multiverses was in development, which was two, three years ago, they were fine. Them, them, be going, them going into financial debt is more of a recent thing. And part of it is Multiverses is failing. Is failing. It's not making the money. But like in terms of when Multiverses was in development... They had money. They were fine. Then multiple Warner Bros. movies failed. Um, what's the name? Mortal Kombat didn't do as good as they wanted to. Multiverses failed. They spent a lot of money up front, and they're not making it back. But, like, you can't use money as... Multiverses had the proper funding. Cut it out. Yeah, Suicide Squad failed. They're, they're, they're in debt because they're not making their money back. But they were spending money. Trust and believe. Also embark on... Yeah, the only thing that did good for them was Hogwarts. New yep. Conquest map. Flash Hockey movie was as warped Nino Mario, where damaged environment debris will get sucked up into the portal directly above Tokyo. Man, that shit better be optimized. Look at that destruction. Visually stunning impact. Lastly, we have designed a brand new practice range map to provide every hero with a hey, whoa, comprehensive whoa, whoa, practice. Whoa, 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 whoa! Now, multiverses was pretty decent. It could have been better, and that's why it failed. But your statement is crazy. Crazy, a Smash clone featuring characters people don't give a shit about flopped. Now, you could say the game wasn't for you. You think it could be better or you didn't even like it. But characters people don't care about. Nobody cared about Batman, Wonder Woman, Scooby, fucking Shaggy. What are you talking about, dude? Finn? Yeah, you got a hater in the chat. <laughs> if anything, it's more crazy that they did fail because they had the star power to compete. With fucking um, Smash Bros. You are a hater. If you don't think that Scooby-Doo characters are just as iconic as Mario, Superman, and like Batman. Those are all iconic characters. What are you talking about, dude? The game just wasn't Experience. what it needed to be. Yeah, that shit had LeBron James. We strive to ensure a fair play for everyone. Combating so got the nigga with the Luigi hat in the chat. always been our top priority. <laughs> During our previous CBT, we put in place a cutting edge anti cheating system Wait. and closely monitored any anti dishonest okay. behavior, properly applying appropriate penalties. Throughout the CBT, cheating incidents remained below. You hear that, 1%. Ubisoft? I said X Define was gonna die if y'all didn't put no goddamn anti cheating that bitch and y'all never did. Now niggas is running through the walls, floating at the top of the map and shit gaslighting people ain't nothing wrong with this game they said they kept their cheaters below one percent that's what's going to keep people on that's what i like to hear now this is during a closed beta test when there's a small sample size like a few thousand people playing i'm curious to see will they be able to keep it below five percent when you know hundreds of thousands if not millions of people are playing but that's what i like to hear they're putting a heavy emphasis on anti-cheat so at least i know if i lose it's because i fucking suck you know because one of the arguments i've been making People, people been saying it in my chat. I know my girl likes to make the argument too because she a Call of Duty sweat. Thanks for TBH. the follow, buddy. Hopefully you're not. Gamers have just gotten me. better. You gotta stop bitching. I know. I counter that. I counter there because first of all, making the argument gamers have gotten better is a disingenuous argument because there's no way to fucking prove that. So to counter that, I gotta give another argument that there's no way I can prove it, other than actually I can argue I can prove it a little bit better. I don't. I think gamers have gotten better. But I don't think gamers have gotten as good as a lot of people say. I think what people are not taking into consideration is, you know what also got more better besides gamers? Hackers and cheaters. They're fucking everywhere, especially on PC. And you console niggas are not, you guys are not innocent either. 
that Chrono that Chrono Zen. You can buy it at GameStop for fifty dollars. You can play Call of Duty. You can play fucking oh, any type of shooter. Overwatch, this game, two uh, K, Instant Greens. And and I remember I knew I knew that the cheaters were on the rise when NBA 2K25 was coming out, like in the summer. And somebody had tweeted out an image of the Amazon um storefront, the page that sells the Chrono Zen. The right before the game came up, the sales were up like fucking 300 percent I saw, oh yeah, niggas is cheating. Niggas, is, it, it ain't just PC gamers. You console niggas is cheating too. The difference is it's harder to prove it unless the console actually bans the device. Uh, Cause it's not like software. The Zen and two K is crazy. So like it, I I don't think gamers have gotten that much better. I I feel like motherfuckers swear I I y'all seen me playing Call of Duty recently. You niggas is not that good. I've been bodying people in Black Ops Six. When I sit up and actually try, I'm like, yeah, you niggas is not that good. When there's some actual anti cheating that bitch, you niggas is not that good. I prove it in fighting games too, cause you really can't cheat in that shit. I be bodying half you niggas in the damn chat. I when we was running Smash Bro lobbies, I was I was knocking heads back. I do not want to hear it. You said you're in a low, uh, oh, okay. Oh, so now I'm in a low, I'm in a low rank. That's what it is. Okay. Yep. My roommate got his in after a little bit of adversity and siege on Xbox. At least he keeping it real. At least he keeping it real. I'm not saying gaming hasn't gotten better because now we have like pro gamers now, but I just don't think the jump is as big as people make it out to be, man. Niggas is cheating too. Niggas is cheating. Nice people abusing bugs. Like, yeah, that's another thing too. Abusing mechanics and shit. With trees nah, being a low MMR, and bad okay. being an average of less than <laughs> seven games, our vigilance also extends to consoles, where we have actively monitored behaviors like the use of Zim. Eternally, we are actively developing detection methods for such behavior and have made significant progress. I like to hear in that. I like effort. to hear that. I feel like I feel like you rarely hear that. Your- in these dev diaries yo shout out to reiko maybe i'm wrong but off the top of my head i feel like recently i haven't heard that a lot where like a developer comes out and says hey we put heavy emphasis on getting you cheaters the fuck out of here because like i said it is a bigger problem than people like to think that makes me feel better so if i get my fucking scout push back yeah like yeah they're probably just good at the game and we understand that (laughs) it will continue to be a challenge after the launch be assured we are unwavering in our dedication to upholding fair play and ensuring an even playing field for everyone. Feel free to let us I'm know snitching. about cheaters. Together, we can foster great experience for everyone. Looking ahead, we have got some top secret stuff in the works for Ace the up upcoming sleep, okay. seasons. And let me tell you, the heroes and maps for season one are about ready and currently undergoing final Damn, touches. so this is, they're launching, they're calling it season zero. This is not even season zero. He's saying they already got season one match. Season, they already have the maps for next season ready to go. That's what I like to hear. They got content on content. Plus, we are cooking up even more exciting content for future seasons. Please look forward to it. Thanks so I followed much. you on Blue Sky, but I'm not sure where to send the screenshot because I can't DM you for some reason. I got you. I got you. It's important to read the instructions. This is why I said, I was like, I'm not trying to be an ass, but some of y'all really got to read. Take a screenshot of your profile with the username visible and use the upload button below. It's right there, man. For anybody, if you're watching the Hokage highlights and you, in it, you want to enter the giveaway, after you take your screenshot, hit the upload button. <laughs> he said he's trolling. Now you might be serious. But I'm trying to help y'all. I'm trying to help y'all. <laughs> uh, but yeah, hit the, there's an upload button below. I, I wanted to make the text red because I felt like some people still might miss it because I can't move the upload button. But I couldn't make the text red so like it was more obvious. But I, I made it bold so at least people, hopefully it would help. Um, I blame the Bush administration. <laughs> Yo, chill, chill, chill for all your support for marvel rivals see you on see you december, december 6th, bitches Ignite they need to add mary jane hey mary jane with the glock let's go she be god mode could you increase the font size i might be able to i could do that yeah i might be i'll, I'll look into it later maybe that'll help i think there is an option for that i'll probably i'll make it bigger like uh, the most important parts um Steam Deck, fingers crossed on the Steam Deck. I got I got some PS5s coming. The PS5s were on sale for Black Friday, so I copped a couple. I'm gonna give those away as well in future months. 
Do you think Craven will be added? Craven the Hunter? That's possible. I feel like that's not like a priority character, but like when they, you know, when they start running out of characters, yeah. Depends on how well the movie does. Uh, Mass Effect trilogy director Casey Hudson. The thing with Blue Sky is you can toggle DMs on or off, but no pictures for some reason, unless I'm tweaking. Uh, what? Just just hit the upload button, man. Uh, on the page, you don't have to DM me on on Blue Sky. Uh, you're trying to bless these bro. I'm trying. Mass Effect trilogy director Casey Hudson's humanoid origin shut down. Humanoid Origin, the studio founded in June 2021 by Mass Effect Trilogy director Casey Hudson, who's like the main brainchild behind the original Mass Effect Trilogy, uh, which was announced in March 2022 that it was working on a multi-platform AAA game focused on character-driven narrative in an all-new science fiction universe, will shut down, the company said in a LinkedIn post. Earlier today, we informed our staff that Humanoid Origin will be shutting down. The post reads, despite efforts to shield the studio from broader challenges in the industry, an unexpected shortfall of funding left us unable to sustain operations. We're heartbroken that we will not be able to bring our new science fiction universe to completion. Our main concern at this time, however, is for our team, and we are committed to supporting them in this transition to new employment. Um, and they're just talking about like the origins of it. So the game is never coming out, which sucks because uh, Casey's a really good developer. But it sounds like they just didn't have the money to keep things going. This gaming shit is rough. It sucks because I wanted to, and they were working on a space game. I would want to see what they were working on. But it, may, I, I, maybe maybe Microsoft picks them up or something like that, or like Sony or somebody. Somebody pick them up, bro. That's talent. You said lower the jokes right themselves. I don't, yo, chill. I'm glad some of y'all come in here and admit to it at least. Like, I'm gonna help y'all because, like, sometimes I be feeling like I come across as like an ass. But I, I, I I'm trying to help y'all because, like, I, I see like people tweeting me, and I'm like, I never told you to tweet me a screenshot. Like, what? I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know. I felt like the sentence was straightforward. Um, some other Mass Effect devs are working on a game called called Exodus. Yeah, I seen that. That shit looks fire too. Um, I follow the dude. I, well, I know the dude who's working on the PR for Exodus because he used to work at EA. I DM'd him the day they announced that shit. I said, yeah, I want I want access when the game comes out or maybe like an interview or something like that. So like, we'll be on the Exodus shit, trust. I send them Starfield too. <laughs> Hell nah. You ever had someone that you're roasting and they just make it easy? It feels like low hanging fruit. Ubisoft's being sued. Speaking of low hanging fruit. <laughs> Ubisoft is being sued over the return to office mandate. As things couldn't get more interesting for Ubisoft, the company now finds itself with a lawsuit on its hands. Unions at Ubisoft Barcelona have sued the French publisher over its recent return Just to office mandate. Yo, shot the Coolio Cool J with the sub. Appreciate it. That I contribute to black on According black to GameIndustry.biz, the, the unions for the both right AAA and mobile arms. teams are demanding Ubisoft ensure protections life, for remote work and tripping. walk back the recent policy changes. Translation, you let us get comfortable working outside the office. We're able to do our jobs efficiently. We ain't coming back, bitch. The changes that were announced back in September mandated that all Ubisoft employees work in the office at least three days per week. At the time, Ubisoft said these changes would be done to enhance creativity and teamwork. Under the old remote work policy, employees were able to choose up to 60% of days to be worked. Seeing as your mom is a bop, with this sub money, I should be able to afford to take a dive into the aquatic mind that shot is the her pussy. With the five, get the subs. Just because and yo, shout out to your uh, king Doesn't with the sub, appreciate it. To the on top of that, there were also fully remote on workers crime. on staff. The, the new mandate has to be followed by all employees, even those I with prior full-time remote life, agreements. Y'all niggas tripping. Um, according to the unions via uh, GameIndustry.biz, the change by Ubisoft was done suddenly without transparency. It would also create logistical problems as offices aren't prepared to accommodate all remote workers at once. Right, a lot of these people got hired. Like it sound, it, it kind of comes across like they just don't want to come in the, they don't want to work. But like a lot of these people were hired during COVID when the office spaces weren't, they didn't even have an office space. So it creates like logistic problems. Um, the only thing that like makes this hard to like kind of defend, you said buyout incoming, <laughs> pretty much. It makes it kind of hard to defend is like their games have sucked. The last few games have sucked besides the, the Prince of Persia one. Uh, so like some people might not even defend this shit and be like, maybe you guys need to come into the office to collab because clearly doing Zoom calls ain't working. Um, but hey, I hope they figure it out. They need a W. Mirage is okay to you. We appreciate you. Yo, shout out to Breeze with the sub. This money helps keep shadows black. Mirage split the community, in my opinion, the Assassin's Creed community. People either really loved it or really hated it. And I was in the hate camp. I didn't like that shit. I think he's I, I think he's honestly the worst assassin in the series. Besides the one from what was the the spinoff boat game? 
uh, Shay McCormick. What was his name? Um, the one that came out after Black Flag. It was for the broke niggas. Uh, but he's he's one of the worst assassins, in my opinion. Uh, check the stocks. Rogue. Yeah, Assassin's Creed. Rogue. There we go. You didn't like Rogue? No. Rogue Rogue was PS was a PS4 nigga game, bruh. Cause then they they came out with Assassin's Creed Black Flag for the for the PS4, and then Rogue was for the PS3. That Assassin's Creed Rogue players are the original PS4 niggas. No, no. Also, the ending was trash. Ubisoft stocks. They were the original. Oh, they up. Let's go. Okay. Uh they have two percent. Okay, so the Microsoft. So the mic not Microsoft, but Ubisoft. Uh Star Wars, speaking of Ubisoft, Star Wars Outlaws and the Assassin's Creed Valhalla don't work with the latest Windows update at the worst possible time. Mm -mm -mm. On top of people potentially going on strike or suing Ubisoft, their games don't work either. Star Wars Outlaws finally comes to Steam last week. Unfortunately, there's also an issue with the latest version of Windows that makes it so the sci-fi open world adventure and other Ubisoft games don't work. Microsoft has acknowledged the issue and is pausing the update in the meantime. After installing Windows 11 version 24H2, you might encounter issues with some Ubisoft games, reads a Microsoft website. These games might become unresponsive while starting, loading, or during active gameplay. Translation, they don't fucking work at all. This includes Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Odyssey, the Avatar games, Star Wars Outlaws, and Assassin's Creed Origins. So if you're interested in purchasing any of these games recently, you might want to hold off until they fix this bug. What I find interesting about this is like, this just speaks to Ubisoft's luck. Because this is specifically a, I will, it might be an optimization issue. I don't know. Because why is this, why does this only affect Ubisoft games? Why does this Windows update only break Ubisoft games? Are their games that poorly op optimized? Uh, Microsoft breaking shit once again. I mean, technically it's Microsoft's fault, but I just don't understand why it only affects Ubisoft. Thanks for the follow. When was buddy. the last time there was Hopefully a good Ubisoft game? The last Ubisoft games I've I thoroughly enjoyed was the Prince of Persia one, and then um. Uh, Immortals Phoenix Rising, I feel like. They're both at fault. They're both at fault. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da you said this doesn't happen on console? I don't know why anyone follows this stream when you could be stalking. Shout out to you for the I mean, follow. following Sonic. Uh, them, them, uh, that Steam Winter Cell ain't happening on console either. <laughs> Immortals was cool. I fixed it. I played it on Game Pass. Yeah, I liked it. Siege is carrying Ubisoft. It is keeping it alive. Remember that viral Halo Portal first-person shooter Splitgate? Well, I've got some good news, as you can finally sign up to play test its sequel. Splitgate lovers, it's almost time once again for the sequel. Oh, we got the tweet right here. Suit up and get ready for Splitgate 2. The team's been cooking up something explosive, and we're excited for, to get your feedback. Sign up for the next play test. They put out a tweet. Anybody want to play it? I got you. They got the Google form. The first X Defiant? Are you yo chill? Why you call it the first X Defiant? There you go. I dropped the link in the chat if you want to sign up for it. Try it out. I like the first split game. Just getting in. Did you talk about the Drake crashing out? Yeah, I've been talking about that. I've been talking about that. Any fans of the City series? Sims type shit. City Skylines 2 console delay is due to hardware limitations, developer says. Hey, the nigga in the chat. The nigga in the chat that just said, hey, these glitches don't happen on console. <laughs> Let's read that headline again. City Skylines 2 console delay is due to hardware limitations. You know what does happen on console? Hardware limitations. Uh, if you have been waiting to play City Skylines 2 until it launches on console, you're going to be waiting a bit longer. <laughs> I love when a joke lines itself up. In an update released on Steam, the game developer's colossal order says that it Thanks still doesn't follow, have buddy. an update Hopefully on a release date for the console me. version for Xbox Series and PlayStation 5. Hey, yo, I was chilling. I swear I didn't set you up for the joke. It wrote itself. You kind of you kind of set yourself up. <laughs> In its latest message to the players, the developer says that while the game's console release continues to be a top priority, its delay continues to be due to the... You know, it's funny. I was thinking it was the CPU. Hardware limitations. Because I know, like, I know with these, like, sim type of games, Games because not only are you building a city and you, you have like tons of cars, people, animals, you have a lot of shit going on. That that's very CPU taxing for people who have never played these games before. It's a lot of moving elements. So I can see why it's gonna take it's not it doesn't mean it's not gonna come to console. It's gonna take a lot longer to optimize this. They're probably gonna have to bring the graphics down. 
uh, probably less NPCs on the screen and stuff like that. PS4 niggas, this shit is never coming to your shit. Yeah, it's super CPU heavy. Believe it or not, for people who've never played these sim games, they're actually very intensive. Um, and the only reason I say this article is I'm not a big fan of like these city type of management games, but I know City Skylines was fucking popular as shit. So if you are looking forward to City Skylines 2 on console, no, it ain't coming anytime soon because... Um, What's the name right now? The limitations of the hardware. 30, 30 FPS. My, my my 990K is struggling to run it. God forbid you add some mods. A little bit of optimization. Speaking of shitty games, FIFA reveals its next game. You guys remember when EA dropped the FIFA license and decided to create their own game, FC Soccer or whatever that shit is? Well, FIFA finally announced what they're doing with their brand, the governing body of football. FIFA reveals their next game, and it's from a blockchain company. EA and the Federal and the Federation International Football Association had a long history of best-selling soccer games. Yeah, we know. Get to it. FIFA rivals will allow players to compete in head-to-head -head matchups with arcade-style gameplay. The game will be free to play, but Mythos is also including in-game transactions through its blockchain to encourage players to enhance lineups while buying, selling, and trading for professional players. Translation. This shit sucks. This is an NFT soccer game. Oh, sweet. I just got a legendary Messi. I just got a pink diamond Ronaldo. <laughs> Who gives a fuck, bruh? These block these, bruh. FIFA should have FIFA should have worked out that deal with. I can't I, I can't believe I'm saying this. EA got a W. FIFA should have worked out. FIFA thought they were too good and they were too big. The only reason I even personally know the name FIFA is because of the damn video games. They thought they were too big to lose and they said, fuck it, we're gonna go out and make our own game. Now they got some goofy ass shit. I hope this ain't their like their main game and this is just some spin-off mobile shit. That's exactly how I feel about this game, crickets. was that boo nigga boo I, I tell you what game i'm not playing is it coming to ps4 there's a chance it, there's a chance because this is supposed to be a mobile game so there's a chance it's coming to ps4 because it's got a the ps4 does have a mobile chip with uh a mobile chip ps4 niggas is getting mad right now my ps4 the the chips in my ps4 are not the same power as a phone actually they might be weaker because uh, the, the iPhone, the new iPhone and the new Androids, I don't know if you PS4 niggas know, you can play Assassin's Creed Mirage on your phone. Console games are coming to phones. My PS4 is powerful. No, it's not. You can play this shit on your phone. Look at this don't look bad either. I think they got Resident Evil on iPhone too. PS4 niggas shut the fuck up forever. And by the way, this is um this is compression. It looks better on the phone. Your your hardware is old. 